my vision would be that we would have six million chiropractors on this planet. And here's why. Because six million chiropractors, licensed, trained, and enabled to check people to see if they're subluxated and to adjust them if they are subluxated. And I really don't care much whether they're doing it by upper cervical only or whether they're doing it by full spine. If they think they need to see some particular patient three times a week to get to make sure they're adjusted or if they think they can check them and adjust them once and then they'll hold that adjustment for years, I don't care. On average, if we had six million chiropractors, that's a number for a reason, and each one of those chiropractors was able to check a thousand patients a month, it's pretty busy practices, that means 250 patients a week, they could see every person on this planet once a month and check them for subluxations and correct any subluxations they found. That's how you check six billion people once a month. And I think if we had that, that the, that the human species as a phenomenon on this planet would become healthier, and as a healthier human species, I think we would start to solve all these things that we see of as political problems, as economic problems, as ecological problems, because I think the solutions to those problems of living come from inside the individual in forms of adaptive responses to whatever the challenge is. So BJ used to call that his, his, his concept of utopia. I just operationalized it. People say, well, how many chiropractors should there be? There's how much back pain is there? How much will the economic system support? And, you know, the, the idea that all six million of those chiropractors also have to be American-trained, doctor-level, insurance-reimbursable chiropractors doesn't, doesn't have anything to do with anything. That's all American politics and money politics and reimbursement politics. Until there's enough chiropractors so that every person on the planet could be adjusted and unsubluxated, my job's not done because that's the actual manifestation of the idea of what I have as chiropractic. And as a matter of fact, six million is a pretty sparse estimate because that means everybody only gets checked once a month, which would be better than nothing by a lot. But in my life, I've enjoyed my life more, and I think I've gotten more value by getting checked maybe every two weeks. And sometimes if I have a nice, friendly chiropractor, I get checked once a week. Well, to check everybody on the planet once a week would take 24 million chiropractors. So somewhere between 6 and 24 million chiropractors, we could do what I actually think the philosophy of chiropractic demands, which is to make chiropractic available to everybody, every human being. And then we can start working on the veterinarian chiropractors so that all of our dogs are checked and subluxation-free. But see, I think that I'm not one of the few people, but I'm one of the people that I know of that most firmly, fully, and absolutely is convinced that subluxations are that widespread, that devastating, and that subtle. So it's just a, it's just a no-brainer. I don't care if you're you know living in the center of the civilized city or you're living out in the bush somewhere. I would like to have someone on hand in your life to be able to check you and adjust you when needed. I don't see chiropractic service as everybody needs to get check, adjusted once a month. I think everybody needs to get checked occasionally. And I personally think once a month would be awesome. I'd love to live in that world. I'd probably love to live in the world where they get checked once a week, even better. But you know, now we're just quibbling, you know, six million chiropractors here, six million chiropractors there. Now we're talking about real numbers. And we're trying to do something chiropractically to the world's health, having 60 to 120,000 chiropractors, mostly concentrated in the United States. That's my vision. That's, and that vision can't go away. The only th you can't kill that vision because it's an idea. It'd be just like a dentist saying, you know, my job won't be done until every person on this planet has the right to have their teeth checked, cleaned, and cavities filled when they need it. No different. Do I think that's a valuable service? Yeah, I think, I think regular dental care is a valuable service in a person's life. By the way, given the choice whether I could have regular dental care or regular chiropractic care, I'd rather have regular chiropractic care. <laughs> so I'm in the business of trying to get six million chiropractors going.